everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for March 1st, 2020, 3 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> Excuse me. You, you really don't need a sorcerer to cast a spell over yourself by saying this is how I am and I can do nothing about it. Each of us are free to leave this experience called suffering at any moment. We already have an out of jail pass. We just forgot how to use it. And the key to opening this magical door is learning how to surrender to the source of who you are. And people say, well, how the heck do you do that? Well, first, you decide, you know, in your own way, own direction, drop these ridiculous beliefs and judgments that we carry about who we think we are and what we believe our life should be. We're, we either <clears throat> we either are choosing the, the path of ego or surrender. That's it. Surrender, ego, or surrender. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're either or. It's either or. We're either choosing the ego, the path of the ego, or the path of surrender. It's it's always one or the other. Now, if you choose to surrender there will be with you a deep oceanic experience of life bubbling up naturally within your being. And this, this oceanic experience is, it's bliss is what it is. And it's always awaiting us. Never is not, it's always awaiting us. And people have asked me, how? How do you find it? It's found through a deep trust. It is, it is a deep trust that it, this is so important for us. If we don't have this deep trust, then we are incessantly slammed around by the ego and controlled by it. And the deep trust that we surface within ourselves is the perfection of everything that is showing up in our lives. See, we, there's, there's no such thing as mistakes. That's another word that was invented. You know, I did this this way. It's not a mistake. You just did it the way you did it. And the universe is so finitely intelligent, it doesn't make mistakes. None of us are a mistake. We all come from the divine. God is our origin. So we give up this selfish game of judgment and recognize our divinity. Now, interesting thing about that is it's the polar opposite of our humanity, of your humanity, right? You give up the selfish game of judgment and you recognize your divinity and it's the polar opposite of your humanity. And you know, we've always been taught that we have to fight our way through any experience in life. Fight our way through any experience in life. And during this time, and, and, and it's, I, I believe it's getting better for many, during this time, the opportunity when we're fighting our way through any experience in life, the opportunity is always there for us to surrender to source, that which created us. And we have this inner battle. This, you know, we can give that up, this, this inner battle. And we just holler out a big yes to life 
and be free from attachment to solving our problems. Free from attachment to solving, solving our problems. You see how we're, we're kind of swooped in and, and arranged in a way that many aren't aware. They just kind of, you know, do it. And we don't have to fix ourselves. We don't have to solve any problems in this world. The problems are creations of our minds. And basically, they're just opportunities for a deeper spiritual awakening. They're situations for our souls designed for us to let go of our ego on a deeper level and melt more completely into this divine existence. You see, there's there's a... As we increase frequency, you begin to unweave the weaving that has taken place throughout the existence of the civilization. You, you let go of your ego. Because all these, these opportunities, which are the, the problems, are creations of your mind and they're just opportunities for a deeper spiritual awakening. They're situations that your soul designed for you to let go of your ego on a deeper level and melt more completely into the divine existence. It can feel that there is a new awareness already breathing inside you right now, right in this now. Now, a lot of people through the ego, of course, right? You come and you say to someone, your life is already amazing. And it becomes even more powerful when you learn the fine art of giving the steering wheel over to God. And the God is within you. How many people would do that right now? How many? Explore a different kind of life that is beyond the countless have-tos, need-tos, and shoulds that have been drowning each and every one of us. The world is, is basically, it's just waiting uh, for us to fully enjoy it now, right now, right now. We are all in an infinite ocean of consciousness, pure consciousness. And we are all immortal beings who knows no boundary or limitations. And we, we choose, we choose through our consciousness to either surrender to that and understand that your main job is to enjoy it. It's not such a long journey home. How, how do you think, how ma many of life's circumstances, how are they created? How are they created? Three basic choices. The disciplines you choose to keep, the people you choose to be with, and the laws you choose to obey. Three basic choices on, on all of the, how, all life circumstances are created by these three choices. We choose this. The disciplines you choose to keep, the people you choose to be with, and the laws you choose to obey. Now, each and every one of us, if we choose, can instantly start improving our ability to respond to life. Uh, with real joy. Gratitude by simply remembering one thing. Each of us were born from an, uh, from an orgasm. 
we are supposed to be full of laughter, love, and a fun, sweet, spunky chutzpah, pizzazz. And this energy is at the core of each and every one of us. It is you, all of us, the essential essence inside of us. And discovering it is really truly the answer to your life's greatest problem. Make this choice right now to embrace your orgasmic nature. It is an explosion of joy and excitement, of bliss. Uh, a big thing that we all, and I don't think any of us are totally exempt from this. I really don't. Some may, you know, act like it or, you know, actually be like a Hollywood actor trying to make it as if it isn't, you know, doesn't affect me. If you want real transformation, Always choose to be free from others' opinions of you. If you want real transformation, always choose to be free from others' opinions of you. Be free from your opinions of you. And be free from God's opinions of you. If you thought she, he could have one, Okay? If you thought that God's opinions, if God had an opinion, what are opinions? They're limiting ideas that try to define who we are. And there are heavy burdens to carry. Now just imagine that you, you wave, wave a magic wand over your, your head and voila, you are free to be anyone you want or desire to be. And you can change it at any moment, whenever you choose. Now, our lives and these bodies, no matter what we think, when you really, really look at it from a free perspective, you know, and that's up to each and every one of us, we're not judging here. But you have to, you got to remember something. Your life is short and so very precious. It is not our place to waste it on trivial matters. It really isn't. Take this time in your life to jump into what is the most important thing to you and go do it now. And if you were going to leave the body in your sleep at the end of this week, would you be doing what would you be doing with your life right now? Perhaps you'd fully open your heart, tell the people you care about exactly how much you truly love them. Perhaps you make the choice to step out of your comfort zone, take the risk to be real, speak from your heart in every moment, and see what happens. There's no limit to what you can manifest, create into reality, when you are free from the mind and aligned with the highest divinity inside of you. And how, how, Will you know when you are truly free from your mind? Well, everything that you take on will feel as light as a feather. That's when you'll know. Everything you take on will feel as light as a feather. Every challenging person from your past will be an exciting opportunity for you to become 
a more loving, compassionate, and enlightened being. And each of us are free to open and venture through the lighter, the lighter life door today. Picture in your heart mind, you've got a heavy, heavy light door. You can't open it. You need a machine to do it. Then to your right, you have the lighter life door that you can choose right now today. It's the same door that opens your heart and soul to pure love. It's the door to your heart and to inner peace and abundance and freedom. Now these are choices in consciousness and they're always there. Any belief that says it is not your inherent nature or thinks life is hard is your ego making up yet another big lie. Now, when you feel stuck, going nowhere, I think we've all been there, even starting to slip backwards, you might want to think about it, that we may actually be backing up to get a running start. Dan Millman. Can you? Can you? It's up to you, each of us. Because you can't free your mind from these overly protective, doubting, saboteur voices by seeing how they are all just half-truths and represent only one side of the coin. There's another side, there always is. So when you feel stuck in life, always, always, always ask yourself, what is the other side of the coin? Now, our minds have the miraculous power within it to find peace, balance, and equanimity. And once you're mad, once you, once you, each of us master our minds, we will see this universe is the most loving, magical place to exist with or to live. And we will all experience the highest state of consciousness the instant, the instant we have permanently reverence for this amazing, intelligent universe. So you have, when you understand in the highest state of consciousness, the instant you have permanent reverence for this amazing, intelligent universe. Right now is the only time that there is to that there is to experience this joy, this awe, this devotion, and this freedom. This moment always contains this divine opportunity. It is not found in the future, and it is not found in the past. It is only found in this very moment that we all are in right now. So be here now. Choose to be liberated from the drama your mind has been creating. And just start saying to yourself, from now on, I choose to be free from whatever it is, whatever. Your life is about letting go of the heavy, heavy, heavy karma you carry and being lighter is the highest responsibility you can take on for your life. Being lighter is the highest responsibility you can take on for your life. The more excited you are about your life, it, it, and it all connects to the deepest of gratitude that you have for your life, 
And after you have some distance from the judgmental mind, then see what is left in the empty space. Find a space in your mind that is void of judgment. You can move through any stuck, painful, or imprisoned feeling that arises by dropping this clinging, clinging habit of the mind, giving your whole life over to pure surrender. Surrender to the great universal existence. All that you are, everything, the air, everything. Surrender to it all. Surrender to the universe. Surrender to the God that you are. Rest and relax deeply into this meeting where your divinity and humanity meet. In this place, you can instantly awaken from your spiritual zombie zone and stop believing that your life is a nightmare. I hear people all the time, they're convinced that their life is hell. And because of that, it is. It's almost like sometimes they get angry because you suggest that they surrender. We are all here to shine like the sun fan the flames of our inner light with long, slow, deep breathing for 10 to 15 minutes. And you'll truly see, feel, and experience your real nature. All of us have that choice. Divinity is always at the core of our being, always has been, has not changed. This is what we all already are, and it can never, ever change. The door to the divine is never, ever closed. It is always open to those who choose it. And you can relax about everything. Yes, you can. It's okay to have a good time and finally let your hair down. Love will spontaneously find you again and again and again. You won't find it, it will find you. And the moment you let go of every little thought the mind is trying to cling to, once you notice the mind is dwelling on some thought, just drop it as if it were a burning red coal in your hand. Picture that image. You're you got a burning red coal in your hand, all right? I think we all know what that feels like. How quickly you think we're gonna drop it, all right? I think you'll, how, how quick do you think you're gonna drop that thought? This is a mental exercise. It will help each and every one of you realize how easy and often you get lost in thought. And there really is actually a very sensual, exhilarating experience you'll get from letting go of the relentless mind chatter. It's the greatest feeling and blissful state you can imagine. You figure we come to an understanding that all journeys are out, outward journeys. There's no inward journey. How can you turn inwards? You're already there. There's no point in going. And when going stops, journeying disappears. And when desiring is no more clouding the mind, you are in Osho. You're never gonna discover freedom by clinging onto any thought. You just won't. You, you, you step into the prison every single time. Every single time clinging on to any thought 
It's simply a habit of our minds to cling. Now, we choose to drop the clinging game completely and just let go into this it's just effortless abyss of pure consciousness. You don't have to do anything to be free. Really. Real freedom is not a thought. It is your essential nature. We've been taught otherwise for thousands of years. Just step back, witness the mind, and you'll see how these thoughts of what you think you need to do to become free suddenly let go of you. Isn't it amazing that you, you concentrate on the fact that you know, it'd be so great, we're not free, blah, 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 we go into there and all these thoughts and everything churn up. The point is, is that we're always free. Real freedom isn't a thought. And we've been taught that it is. It is all of our essential nature. And when we do, when we do choose to step back and witness the mind, we will see how these thoughts of what we think we need to do to become free suddenly are gone. Now, when each of us, and it's up to us, each of us, the key is to trust in life and surrender everything over to existence. Trust in life and surrender everything over to existence. Allow the, the, the universal universe handle all the details. That takes trust. That takes confidence through the heart mind to truly do that. And this moment of your life is exactly as it needs to be. Exactly. Trust that as if your life depends on it. Because you know what? It does. And once you are free from your beliefs about how life should be and accept what is, the happiness river starts flowing through you again and again and again. And yeah, it's that easy. And whoever said that transcending years of struggle, emotional pain, personal suffering has to be hard, has to be gut-wrenching. Well, I suggest that you don't listen to, to, to much to this logical, analytical mind. What if your life on Earth is meant to be much easier? simpler than you've made it out to be. You can change any negative attitude completely in a few minutes. Just ask the universe with all your heart mind what you want and then listen. Now, we can be patient and experience a deeper trust inside ourselves. And we can believe that we are divinely guided by the highest, highest intelligence, love and power all the time. And each day we choose to accept that this awesome power is in all things, including you. It starts showing you the way home to being truly free. And it's like, ah, you know, just say yes to being guided. You take a deep breath and relax now. It is through relaxation that you'll find the truth within yourself and discover this phenomenally angelic presence that has been with you all along. And it really isn't, as uh, Henry David Thoreau said, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. It is not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. So...
first thing we want to do is to relax our bodies. Just go someplace where we aren't going to be interrupted so we can. Now, how do we do that? Well, I've just kind of shared uh, quite a bit on how to relax your body. Just let go and surrender. Have the confidence and the belief that the universe has your back. It always has had your back. The only thing that happens is that we get muddled and we interfere with that. See? And when you try to force something, you ever notice? Doesn't happen. And then what happens? You get more frustrated. And it doesn't happen. And then you keep going. And you keep feeding the thing that you really don't desire. And it keeps not happening. Everything that you want doesn't happen. For the most part, you become more frustrated. Stress, anxiety. You surrender. How many times have we talked about surrender to the God and within you? Surrender to the universe. Do you honestly think that your life is supposed to be just ridiculous struggle, pain, sorrow, anguish, filled with worry about this, worry about that? When one disappears, another one takes its place, lickety split. And what I've shared is that it's not how it's supposed to be. And, you know, you, you really do. You pick up a tremendous amount of experience, and you can just be in such gratitude for everything. And you'll find that it just is ending up wrinkleless. It's future perspective. It's how we look at things. It's what we embrace. Again, it's the ego mind coming in there. So relax the body. Anything that you're carrying doesn't serve you the greater good. If you're not relaxed and comfortable and you don't feel good, let it go. Surrender it once and for all through the heart mind. Body will relax. And then as we do that, we move into the now. We still the mind. We move into the now. We still that chatter. Wouldn't you like to still that chatter? We all have it. What is it? It's just unending thoughts. It never, they, they never end. It just, it's just like, it's like a machine gun effect that never runs out of ammunition. It just keeps, you know, it's like raindrops pounding on a, a metal roof and, and never ending. That's the chatter. Wouldn't you like to still that chatter by moving into the now? And that's what happens. We relax the body, we move into the now. We don't go in the past, past dead. We've already been there, why do we want to go back there? And the future we haven't even created yet. We're creating our futures, each and every one of us, in this very now. So, we want to breathe. Want breath in through the nose, breath out through the mouth. This is the now. The breathing, the breath is the now. And you'll find it amazing that when you just be, go somewhere quiet and be, you don't need music, you don't need any noise, you just be and breathe. Try it for 10, 15 minutes. Not to the point where you're hyperventilating, but breathe nicely in, breathe the breath nicely out, and just be. Watch what happens. Be in the now. Because the breath is in the now. And the breath is so powerful. It's mesmerizing. It relaxes you without you even lifting a finger. It calms you. You go. You move more into serenity, bliss, 
joy, peace. And so the breath is everything. Now, as we breath in, we're breathing in divine positive energy. And as we breath in, we want to hold it for roughly three seconds. And as we breath in, as we hold it, we want to say, I am love, I am light, I am. Those are the frequencies of the words, the energies. I am light, I am love, I am. I am light, I am love, I am. And then you breath out. Easy. Completely. And we, we're always breathing in divine positive energy comes from source creation, pure consciousness. You know, all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. And so as we breath in and we sustain the breath in for a few, few seconds, message, information, vibrational frequencies come in through the God within us and through the heart mind, not the ego mind. It comes in, and it just basically is saying constantly, if you're conscious and not unconscious, we choose surrender. Do we choose the path of ego or, or surrender? That's where the bliss is. The surrender into the God that we are, surrender to the universe, surrender to ourselves. There's no mistakes here. There's no judgment. And understand that God is our origin. So once we relinquish, surrender, we give up this selfish game of judgment, and we recognize our divinity. We're surrendering to source, source creation. We choose to. So it's, it's part of our natural state of being. And all the judgment, you know, we finally give up the selfish game of judgment. And we finally recognize our true divinity. And it's the polar opposite of our humanity. Now, as we breath out, we breath out, that's that little tug, that's that tug of war. Sometimes it's not little. That's that tug of war. You gotta, you, you, you know, you gotta fight your way through any experience in life. You gotta struggle, stress, fear, anxiety. You have to do that in order to survive. You have to fight your way through any experience in this life. You don't need to, don't surrender to source. You, you're fine doing this. You're all right. Now, we're in the heart mind, not the ego mind, and the kingdom of God within us, the God that we are, the heart of God, the mind of God, the eyes of God. And we have many, many, many more with us. We have the archangels, cherubim, seraphim, archetypes, all of the angels. Now, this civilization vibrates at a higher frequency. And we do. That's why we don't see them like we see each other. We do on occasion. They do appear in humanoid form. They really do. It's not you reckon, and, and, and a lot of times they just appear out of nowhere. And, you, and, it's, and it's a really strange place that they'll appear, and you don't even think about it. But then, you know, you go, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, that wasn't just, you know, some stranger. And, you know, they appear with me all the time. Wherever I'm at, they show up in different forms. In humanoid form, it's really funny on how 
how they how they transmit a communication. It's it's great. So our vibrational frequency keeps elevating as we choose to. And those of us that just hang on, you know, that we that you've got to fight your way through any experience in this life. Then the road's going to be a lot different for you. And they are all of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love, the highest, deepest gratitudes. Our frequencies must be high in this meditation, or we can't participate because we're too distracted. We have the Ascended Masters with us. Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh, Gaia, St. Germain, Sananda Jesus, Amoria, Abedantia, Pell, and Thought, many, many, many more. They have ascended out of body, hold God form. We have ascended in body, the body holds our God form. And what is God form? that which source creation, pure consciousness created us. So there's a difference. They've ascended out of body, hold God form. We are gods have ascended into body to experience and our God form is in the body, the temple. The more conscious we become, the more understanding we will be and the more we will surrender to the God that we are, to the universe. Now all of us, in the, the angelic civilization, trillions, the ascended masters, many, ourselves, and we all form a circle of light around this planet Earth Gaia, around the equator. Now we don't, you don't see physical form, you just see the light because it's so brilliant because we emit this light coming together because it's the highest of all high frequencies. It is the highest of the deepest eternal love of that which we were created. And remember, we are supreme reality. And you, all of us, will discover that we are beyond consciousness. Now we call upon all of the light energy beings and all that there is ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond it forever. Only those who are of the highest, deepest, eternal love from the highest, deepest, eternal love can join us in this meditation, in this circle of light, in this now, and the deepest of gratitudes. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-negativity, non-ego, stillness of mind, generosity, kindness, gentleness, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility and benevolence. And they come in the Google Plexus. One Google Plex holds this universe. They come in trillions of Google Plexus from every direction arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this now, in this meditation, this circle of light. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs, they are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and the deepest of eternal love. We are the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and the deepest of eternal love. And we're all one. And we are all love. And our God light energy is everywhere. And we encase the planet, all of ourselves, everything in the solar system, galaxy, universe, and beyond, in a protective high frequency field, multicolors, emerald green flaming light of Archangel Raphael, the violet blue, purple flaming light of Archangel Michael, the white fire, the golden white pink light of source creation, pure consciousness, deep eternal love. 
the purple transmuting flame, the violet ray. Our frequencies are extremely high. No dark matter frequencies can enter unless we drop down to their frequency. We are always protected. With that knowing, we should always be protected. Now, we, we all of us, we literally levitate. Those in body step out of body. We all literally levitate, ascend above the planet. And as we do, we call upon all of those in inner earth, hollow earth, beneath earth, Agartha, and many, many, many more civilizations. Only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love and the highest from the highest, deepest eternal love and of the highest, deepest eternal love and the deepest of gratitude can join us in this meditation that's now in the circle of light. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence, and they come in the billions, arm in arm, hand in hand, they join us in this now, in this circle of light, in this meditation. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and the highest of deepest eternal love. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and the highest of deepest eternal love. We're all one. We're all love. And our godlike energy is everywhere. We call upon the galactics, off worlders. And there are many, many, many of these civilizations Pleiadians, Syrians, Andromedans, Arcturians. Only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love and the highest of deepest gratitudes can join us in this now, in this meditation, in this circle of light. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-negativity, non-ego, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace. tranquility, benevolence, then they come. In the billions, they have been assisting us with our evolution, with our enlightenment, with our ascension, freeing ourselves from our own self-imposed bondage and slavery. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. Arm in arm, hand in hand, in this meditation, this now, in this circle of life. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and deepest of eternal love. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and the deepest of eternal love. And we're all one. And we're all love. And our god light energy is everywhere. And it continues to expand exponentially. We call upon all of our loved ones who have ascended out of body in this lifetime and all lifetimes that we've inhabited. And only those who are of the highest, deepest eternal love from the highest, deepest eternal love can join us in this now, in this meditation, this circle of light, the deepest of gratitudes. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, generosity, kindness, gentleness, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace. Tranquility and benevolence. And they come arm in arm, hand in hand. In the billions. Their gods with our gods, our gods with theirs. They are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes. And deepest eternal love. We are of the highest of deepest, deepest, deepest gratitudes and the deepest of eternal love. 
and we are all one, and we're all love. And our godlike energy is absolutely everywhere. We call upon all the light energy beings who have decided to be housed in the following forms on, in, above and below this planet Earth Gaia, in this now, in this meditation, in this circle of light. They're in full compassion, non-judgment, non-ego, non-negativity, stillness of mind, gentleness, kindness, generosity, humbleness, bliss, joy, peace, tranquility, benevolence. Fairies, sprites, elves, dwarves, gnomes, trees, elementals, earth, air, water, fire, mermaid, dolphin, whale, pegasus, unicorn, centaur, minotaur, and trillions more in shapes, sizes, forms, colors, configurations of which we have ever seen before and they all join in arm in arm hand in hand in this now in this meditation this circle of light they're all of the highest of deepest 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 gratitudes and the deepest of eternal love we are all in the highest of deepest 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 gratitudes and the deepest of eternal love and we're all one and we're all love and our god light energy is in all that there is, ever has been, ever will be, ever beyond and forever. We look up and we see our meditative sphere. It's that center circle. We all created this sphere over two years ago. It houses all of our meditations in perpetual motion. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them in perpetual motion all growing, all expanding, all increasing in vibrational frequencies in the highest of the highest highs of the deepest eternal love and gratitude. Continually expanding. You can feel this as it floods you continuously vibrating your physical body and your etheric, your God. Surrender to the universe. Surrender to the divinity that you are. Surrender to the God that you are. Relax. That's where the bliss is. That's where the joy is. Stop judging yourself. End this incessant mind influence relax the universe has your back always has always will it is your confidence that is lacking embrace the confidence that you are feel this pulsating wave after wave of frequency of the deepest 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 eternal love and gratitude be in that gratitude and that love of which you are. We look down upon this planet Earth, Gaia, we see all of our brothers and sisters, all life, on and above and below this planet Earth, Gaia. They too are being flooded. Remember, we're all one and we're all love. So as we vibrate our frequencies and we go more and more within ourselves, we discover the divinity and the bliss and the joy and the happiness that we are. That affects everything. That affects every single one on this planet, in it, above it, below it. That affects all of the civilizations. It affects the solar system and galaxy and universe. It affects everything. Because it is pure consciousness. It is part of the collective consciousness. 
of this planet Earth, Gaia. So you see, by going within, we're affecting everything. And they too start to feel their true divinity and start being inward and not outward. This is changing. We are all witnessing the last breaths of the dark low matter frequencies. And we're all one, we're all love. I'll join in the meditation, return to close us out.
highly recommend it during this massive shifting time that we're all in fully right now. A lot of us in fifth, de fifth density are looking from that over that which we have left. Uh, you're, you're going to see many things uh, and it, it is imperative that we are within ourselves that we relax. It's very important. And things will transpire very rapidly as they are now. Anything attached to doom and gloom, whether the those projecting it have no conscious awareness of what they're doing, or if they do, this is a dark matter low frequency and our attention is within as we continue to ascend. So take this with you for the rest of the day, into the evening and night, and into the following morning. And we will be back here uh, March 2nd, 2020, Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern.